Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the training. As I mentioned before, there's two versions of VMware Converter. There's VMware Converter Starter, uh, that's the free download, and then there's VMware Converter Enterprise, and that actually takes a, a license file. Now let's let's take a look at who's actually el eligible to get VMware Converter Enterprise, and you pretty much need a, a current support contract for uh, VMware Virtual Center Management Server and or uh, VMware P2V Assistant Starter and Enterprise. So if you got either one of those, you can get the license file for VMware Converter Enterprise. And they're, they're actually the same program, but when you get the license file, you just install it and uh, it unlocks some new features that we're going to take a look at. And VMware Converter Enterprise actually isn't sold separately, so you can't just go out and buy it. You need either uh, the support contract for P2V or Virtual Center. So now let's take a look at the, the, the differences between the two. As far as support goes, uh, for VMware Converter Starter, you can purchase support on a per incidence basis. For VMware Converter Enterprise, it already comes with your current support contract for Virtual Center Management Server. Target use uh, VMware Starter, it's used really for one-off conversions and if you've got a ton of servers that you need to convert VMware Convert Enterprise is really the way to go because it allows you to do multiple simultaneous conversions they can both do hot cloning uh, which is converting a physical machine while it's running but there's a real important difference between the two that we're going to take a look at in a second uh, cold cloning only VMware Enterprise can do this a lot of times you, you won't want to do cold cloning uh, but you will want to do it if you truly want to leave your physical server untouched that is you don't want to install the the VMware agent on it so that it it can perform a hot clone uh, and I, I ran into incidents where I, I needed to do this because the server was so fragile and uh, any anything installed on it could have messed it up so it wasn't worth the risk so we went with a cold clone uh, again multiple simultaneous conversions you get with the enterprise version local conversions that's just uh, running the the GUI portion of VMware converter on the source machine remote conversions this is really the big one I think that that helps if you have enterprise uh, most of the time if you're converting a lot of machines and you're working in a larger company you're going to be converting these servers physical servers to an ESX environment and the starter version doesn't let you do a remote conversion to an ESX server you can do it for, to VMware server or GSX or pretty much any other of the the hosted platforms they called but you can't convert it to an ESX remotely you can do it with a VMware converter running on the source machine but eh, I like to do it remotely if you can because basically you have a VMware converter server and you just tell the server where the the source machine is and where the destination machine is and it goes out and does everything you don't have to keep installing VMware converter all over the place so that that's the real benefit I think of enterprise and again licensing uh, no license files needed for a starter and you need the license file for enterprise so th those are the differences 